No more. No more national debt. No more national debt. No no oh yeah. What what what? Can you tell us about that book? What is that about? I mean, I know it's it's clear with the title, but um. Well, Bill Steele has made a very famous video. I think in 1995, uh, called Money Masters, mm. and he's continuing his discussion here. And the idea is that we don't need to have a national debt. It's not necessary. Mm. And it's not necessary because we don't need to buy our money from the Federal Reserve as we currently do. Mm. Our money is actually privatized. It's not owned by our federal government, mm. as we all think it is. Mm. Did you think it was federal? I, I thought it was. I mean, I know it says Federal, federal Reserve. It's federal about the Federal Reserve is the word. The word. Oh, wow. It's all privately owned. They are private bankers. Essentially, the, the, the game is rigged hmm. to create a widening gap between those that have the money creation power and those that don't. Wow. So whatever people decide money is, is money. In the colonial days, the Indians traded uh, shells, which they called wampum. What gives it a value is what it's backed up by, hmm. which is our goods and services, our time, our sweat, our equity. The greatest, worst example of privatization is our money system. We turned over the right to issue money to these private banks. So is it any wonder that the biggest, tallest buildings in every city are banks? They can create money literally out of thin air. I want to say, man, to everybody out there, man, that, you know, this Occupy Cleveland movement, everywhere across the country, all across the globe, man, people are standing up for what they believe in. They're standing up for... Uh, and against, you know, this greed, man. It's a lot of greed in our country and our goal, man. I mean, I, once again, as I said earlier, man, I love to be an American. Um, I'm glad to be an American. But the reality is, man, we are probably one of the most wasteful countries in the whole entire world, man. I mean, you go to other countries around the world, they eat in small portions, man. They drink in small portions, but we live in a society, man, that everything is supersized. Everything is microwaved, you know what I'm saying? I want it quick, I want it fast, and I want it big. I want it in a hurry. And the fact is, is that that's not always the most healthy. It's not always the best for us, but we want it anyway. You know what I mean? And, and you know, our food, man, is unhealthy. Why is it? Because you know, we pumping steroids in the chicken. Why? Because we want to make more money. It's all about making more money. And, and it's on the backs of people, man. So I respect, man, Occupy Cleveland, Occupy Boston, Occupy New York, Occupy Atlanta. No matter where you're from, man, become a part of this movement, man. It's a great movement, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's know the issue, too. You know what I mean? Let's defeat HB 194. Anything that suppresses people's rights. Anything that suppresses your right to be free, your right to vote, your right to be who you are, whatever that may be, your right to religion, your right to speech, your right to protest, anything that, that fights and, and hampers your right to do anything, we should stand up against it. All right, for real, for real, man. So I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for coming out with us and checking out. We always want to know what's going on in our city and across the country, and we're going to talk about it. If ain't nobody going to talk about it, we're going to talk about it. You so know what I mean? Occupy Cleveland, man. For real.